Hello there, this is Greg. Um, and if you've been following me on, on social media, Facebook or not to be, you've probably seen me talking about a card game that my friend Will and I started working on about two years ago or so. And uh, it kind of got put on hold. Uh, he moved out, out to Montana and plus, you know, COVID hit. And just the other day I started thinking about this game again. And uh, I thought, you know, I'm gonna talk to Will and we're gonna see about getting this back up and going. So probably around February or March of 2022 or so, we may launch a Kickstarter campaign to hopefully get this game off the ground. Um, this will be unlike any Kickstarter I've ever done for my music. You know, where with my music I was you know looking for 600 or maybe thousand dollars. This Kickstarter will probably be more like 25,000, 30,000 um, dollars. We're looking to get um, this game distributed uh, through Amazon and. The game has about five or about 200 cards in it, 180 to 200 cards. I can't remember exactly. Um, I've got this on mock-up of the game I've already made, and you know it'll come with a couple custom dice. It'll come with uh, either some player mats that you'll each put down in front of you that'll have the, you know basic rules and marks on the mat to show where certain types of cards go, or it might just come with player cards that have the basic rules uh, like a lot of games have these days um, depends on what we can come up with um, it also will come with little markers like this it has a heart on the other side has two hearts this represents how many hit points you have in the game uh, you, have, you can play a long version or a short version and the long version you'll start with 20 hit points short version you'll start with 10 hit points of course you can completely adjust that however you want there will be enough markers for eight players to have 20 hit points. But if you're gonna play a four player game, you wanna do an extended game, have 40 hit points each, completely up to you. It'll be your game to customize how you want. House rules will be encouraged on this game. Um, unlike some other games that try not to say you can have house rules. And the idea of the game is each player is gonna start off with five cards. Um, and the, there's about eight, eight or so different types of cards. There's weapon cards, there's healing cards, there's protection cards, enhancement cards, two different types of enhancement cards, actually. There's enhancement cards that can enhance your weapon, and there's also enhancement cards that enhance the game as a whole. Um, there's wild cards, and the cool thing about wild cards, um, and I'll show you one a little bit later, the cool thing about wild cards is they can be used either as a wild, you know, to be like another weapon, or each wild card has a special event attached to it as well. You can use the wild card one of those two ways. You can't use it both ways. And once you use it, it's gone from the game for good. Um, well, for that game. And uh, so anyway, the idea of the game is you want to be the last man standing. So you have different weapons you want to attack the other players with. Some weapons cause splash damage. So you, you might attack the player across you, but Splash damage might end up affecting the two players to the right or left of that player. Some weapons cause damage to three or four different players. And like I said, um, if you ever heard of the game Worms on the computer, uh, this is kind of more along the lines of that. It's just silly, um, a lot of fun, kind of frantic. So now I want to show you a couple of the cards. Um, now these cards I'm going to show you, I just grabbed the images off of Google Images. The final product, I want to have an artist actually draw them. Um, and uh, I want it to be more cartoon, more fun, not, not serious. I don't want the weapons to look authentic or anything. They, they need to look, you know, fun. Um, for example, one of the cards is a hunting knife. And the hunting knife, you attack another player. Uh, you roll two dice, and the game will come with two custom dice as well. So you'll roll two dice. If you roll a nine or higher, you do one point of damage to that player. It's pretty simple low damage card um, and then of course the game is called knife to a gunfight so there's guns as well we have an Uzi here and with an Uzi uh, you do three total damage that can be spread among multiple opponents so you have you have to roll six or greater on two dice um, so you know anything six to twelve will uh, allow you to hit up to three or three points of damage to however many players you want they have to be spread out though so you can take two, two points off of one person, one point off another person. You can do one point off of three people, or you can just do all three to one person, however you want to do it. You want some Uzi so you can spread the fire. Um, there's also grenades, there's, there's missiles, there's all kind of stuff, and each of those cause um, different amounts of damage to any number of 
players. And like I said, there's also protection cards. These are a type of enhancement card. Uh, like for this, for example, this one. Uh, come on, camera focus. It's called Weapon Jam. And that's a jar of jam on the card there. Because uh, jelly don't shake like that. Play this card when attacked and you roll a single dice. If you roll a one or a two, the person that attacking you uh, fails because their weapon gets jammed, of course. If you roll a three or four, whatever damage they do to you is reduced by two um, with a minimum of one. So you're always going to get at least one point of damage. If you roll a five or six, no effect. They, they're able to attack you and they, you get full damage. And there's also healing cards because, you know, any game that has has a chance to get damage, you want a chance to get better as well. So like, here's an example of a healing card. It's called Grammy's Secret Elixir. It says it's not moonshine, at least that's what she tells me. You roll a dice, increase your hit points by half of the roll, round it up. So you roll a five, you get three hit points. You roll a four, you get two hit points, etc. Um, and of course, if you roll um, a one, you'll get two hit points. So two is the least amount of hit points you can get for that. And there's also wild cards I told you. Remember I told you the wild cards can be used either as a wild um, in conjunction with another card. A wild card can't be played on its own as a wild card. It has to be uh, in played in conjunction with another card. So for example, that Uzi, I can play a wild card, now I have two Uzis. And with any weapon card, you can play up to three. So um, if I put down, say I have th uh, three Uzis in my hand, I put all three of them down, and then that allows me to make three attacks. You can play up to three cards, weapon cards in a turn, like I said. So it allows me to do up to three attacks. I have to roll for each gun. Um, but the difference is you don't get the full, you know, like that says three points of damage. It doesn't mean you get three guns with three points of damage to each. Each additional gun that you have on the table of the same type does an additional one point of damage. So this is three total damage. If I put two more Uzis, it's going to be a total of five points of damage. So three for the first, an additional one, an additional one. You still have to roll for each gun, and you have to hit on six. It says hit on six plus. So I had to roll the two dice three times, and if all three of them uh, are greater than six, you know, the rolls are greater than six, then all three hit. If I only make two out of the three, then only I'll get the three points of damage plus one. And if I only one roll makes it six or higher, I just get the three points of damage. I hope that makes sense. I probably could have done better explaining that. But, um, then I said that the wild cards, now if you have, let's say you have two Uzis and one wild card, you can play the two Uzis and the one wild card, and that wild card becomes an Uzi. So that allows you, again, to hopefully get the three attacks. Or, if you decide that you don't want to play it as a wild card, you see on the bottom it also says it's a mutant card. And the mutant card says you grew an extra hand. You may now have one additional card in your hand for the rest of the game. If you'd rather this card can be used as plus one enhancement, like I just told you about. So basically, as, like I said, you can have up to five cards in your hand at a time. With this wild card, if you play that, you put it in front of you for the rest of the game, you're not going to have six cards in your hand at one time. So it's a little bit of an advantage there. And then there's special cards, like this one here, Small Arms Dealer. You get it? It's a T-Rex. So it says, you buy all your guns from a guy named T-Rex. He's a small arms dealer. All players must give their cards to you. You must then reshuffle them without looking at them and then redistribute them in any order you wish. So everybody has to say four cards in their hand, or five cards in their hand. So you get all of them, including your own. You shuffle them up and then you redeal them however order you want, as long as you know, you deal one to each person at a time. You can go one to the left, one to the right, one to the cross, whatever order you want to do it in. Um, again, nobody can have more than five cards So at the, at, during that deal. Then there's another special card called a Vigilante. It says, take your normal turn. Then for a second attack, you must attack the person other than yourself with the most hit points remaining. I get to do this because I'm bat, well, you know. And so basically what that means is you're going to take an attack, and then uh, you put your weapon down, you put this down next to the weapon, um, and it will limit, so if you have three Uzis, you only play two Uzis and this card. So, you know, because it's a maximum of three cards. So you put this card down with your weapon, 
and you'll be able to do two attacks. So you make your first attack, and then you attack whoever has the most hit points after that. So that's kind of a cool card. And then another one of my favorite cards is called uh, What's Red and Bad for Your Teeth? A Brick. You use this card, you roll two dice, if you roll a six or a seven, you get three points of damage. What's black and red and bad for your teeth? A ninja with a brick. Automatic hit, you don't even have to roll for this one. For two points of damage, it cannot be modified. If you laugh during this turn, plus one to damage. So let's say I'm attacking you, and I do, and I hit damage, and you laugh, or I get you to laugh, or someone else at the table gets you to laugh, I get to do an additional point of damage. So that's kind of fun. There's all kinds of cards. Um, There'll be uh, some expansion packs ideas that we have. Uh, we have something called ghost cards. So if you die, you can come back as a ghost. Now the ghost doesn't actually really have much to play in the game, but they can do things to affect the game for the other players, kind of get their last revenge on them or whatever. Um, some of them are just fun. Um, some of them just have you reenact your death scene, whatever. Um, and there's also nuke uh, keys. And if you collect two nuke keys, then you can push the button and if you push the button a nuke goes off and kills everybody on the table including yourself unless you have a fallout shelter and uh, there'll be enough fallout shelters in the expansion pack for up to eight players and uh, so if you have a fallout shelter the game keeps going as long as you have that fall you know everybody you know as long as there's more than one person that has the fallout shelter you keep battling it out so that's the idea of the game uh, it's it's uh, fun. Uh, we've pl I've play tested it, I think five times, including one time at a local game store, and everyone that's played it seemed to enjoy it. Uh, we've made quite a few modifications to the rules along the way. It's kind of you know part of the reason we're play testing it, and uh, there's probably some more changes we're going to make in the future as well. But if this game sounds fun to you, um, be uh, watching my social media, my YouTube, and I'll have more information. And like I said, we'll probably start a Kickstarter probably in February or March of 22. Um, so, and we're hoping to be able to have the game sell for between $35 and $40, which is the going rate for new games these days. Um, I know it's just a card game, but there's a lot of cards. And uh, my goal is on the Kickstarter to have at least two or three expansion packs included for those of you doing the Kickstarter. Um, and you know, the game will be sold with just the standard deck and then we'll have expansion decks available for purchase but for the Kickstarter people I'd like to have some of those included in the actual what you, you know what you get from the Kickstarter just to kind of encourage you to do the Kickstarter rather than waiting for it to go into the stores anyway if you have any questions leave a comment below like and subscribe you know all that jazz and keep an eye on my social media and hopefully we'll get this game going and have, hopefully have it released by next Christmas of 22 so uh, talk to you later bye